This video is about membrane bioreactor technology. Membrane bioreactor is a combination of membrane process like ultrafiltration, nanofiltration and microfiltration and suspended growth process. So the suspended growth process may be either aeration, aerated process or anaerobic process. So we, we can have ASP or any other anaerobic process. This combination provides a high quality of effluent and also eliminates the sedimentation and post filtration process which are typically used for wastewater treatment. This combination also gives us high removal of organic and suspended solids. If possible, if the sludge is adjusted, we can even remove nutrition from the wastewater system. So the membrane can be placed internally or it can be placed externally. So this slide shows us the schematic diagram of wastewater treatment plant or sewage treatment plant. So in the top is the conventional ASP based STP and the lower is the MBR based STP. So in the both the cases the raw wastewater enters into a solid removal mechanism which necessarily consists of screens and grid chambers. So the effluent from the solid removal enters into the pre-treatment unit which is necessary a primary sedimentation tank followed by the aeration zone and the secondary sedimentation tank and then to the sand filter for further removal of suspended solids and then disinfected before the effluent is discharged out. And in the MBR based STPs same as the above, so the wastewater after passing through screen and grid chamber enters into the primary sedimentation tank or the pre-treatment unit and then it moves on to the aeration zone. So here we can see that the sedimentation tank and the sand filter is replaced by very thin membranes and the treated effluent from the membrane is disinfected or it may not be disinfected and directly discharged into the nearby water bodies. Here we can see the membranes which are placed internally and we can see the membranes are placed externally. So this picture shows the membrane that are placed externally to the bioreactor and in the second image we can see the bio reactor in the bioreactor the membrane are submerged so basically the MBR plant consists of the fine screen aeration tank membrane unit blower and chemical cleaning unit fine screen screens are placed before MBR to remove solids thereby extending the life of the membrane and the next is the aeration unit. So in the aeration unit, external air is introduced into the system so that the microorganisms which are present in the activated sludge digest the complex organic matter that is present in the wastewater and convert it into simple organic matters. Third is the membrane unit. Membrane unit or submerged inside the aeration tank. So in the membrane unit, the membrane acts as a filter. So it filters all the microorganism and all the suspended solids both organic and inorganic from entering into the member. So thereby the permeate or the clear water, wastewater will be obtained from the membrane unit. And the next is the blower. The blower pumps air to clean the membrane and feed the bioreaction process. So the blower can be blown around uh, for every 
30 minutes or half an hour and next we have chemical cleaning unit so the chemical uh, cleaning unit basically consists of sodium hypochlorite for cleaning the membranes so the dosing frequency is approximately 2 to 3 months so here we can see the filtration mechanism so this red line is the membrane so the membrane may be of any size so it may be ranging from 0 0.035 micrometer to 0 0.4 micrometer that is basically from microfiltration to ultrafiltration so the bioreactor consists of microorganism these are the suspended solids which may be organic or inorganic nature so this membrane prevents the entry of these solids and microorganisms entering into the other side of the membrane so thereby we can achieve clean or treated sewage from the other side the advantages of MBR over ASP so compared to the ASP this MBR provides high quality effluent and have high volumetric loadings we can extend the solid retention time that is we can have higher theta C and low hydraulic retention time this dramatically reduces the process tankage that is the volume or capacity of the existing W uh, existing sewage treatment plants and allows for the extension of the plant or upgradation of the plant without adopting new tanks. Less sludge is produced and there is possible for simultaneous nitrification and denitrification in the bioreactors due to long SRT or high sludge age. So since there is no clarifier and no uh, sand filtration, obviously the land area is reduced. Disadvantages of MBR. So as membrane is involved, the uh, operation, the capital as well as the operation cost is very high. And the membrane possesses fouling. So the fouling is the major drawback of this MBR. So what is fouling? So this process is called as membrane fouling. So membrane fouling is the clogging of the filters due to the suspended particles that are present in the bioreactor. So the suspended particle includes microorganisms and the cell debris, collides, solutes and sludge, sludge flocks. So these on continuous running of the bioreactor, these suspended particles completely clogs the membrane and the membrane becomes infunctional. So here we can see that, so this is the fresh membrane, so where the pores are very clear and after continuous process of MBR, we can see the sludge flock that is attached to the membranes and for the operation we can see many microorganisms and the suspended particles are attached to this sludge flock so on further operation so the entire membrane is coated with the sludge flocks the pores of the membrane are completely clogged so this process is called as membrane falling so research is on in order to reduce this membrane falling in the MBRs so membrane falling causes the worst condition in MBR so if this can be rectified or if this can be reduced then MBR may be very very efficient in wastewater treatment plants. 
थैंक यू